All right, well, welcome back to another instructional video from Agard Moto Foundry. So we've had a few of these pumps in now that we've seen where the diodes have failed inside of this little bulkhead here. So what we wanna do when we get the pump out to make sure that, the, that there's an issue between here and the pump side is we wanna apply power to see if, um, if the pump will run. So we have uh, 12 volts to here. You can see we just we're getting some sparks there, but we don't have any anything going on here. So what we've done is uh, we've actually uh, taken off the connector here. We've gone ahead and applied 12 volts directly to the pump, and we and we can find that the pump is fine. So our suspicion is that there is a diode issue, and inside this this area here, it is a uh, resin epoxy filled um, encapsulated area and um, inside of here connected between the positive and negative so the the red and the black um, there is a diode and it's uh, commonly referred to as a flyback diode and you can see the diode in the bottom there now uh, this this epoxy is not easy to get out you need to have some special um, tools and it's uh, you can do it with a screwdriver but uh, we prefer some other methods and you also have to kind of know where the diode is so we're trying to help uh, out guys that want to do this um, contact us if you want to get the correct diode but what we're going to do is we're going to cut this diode out and we're going to repeat our test to see if we can get the pump to run which i suspect that we will and then we're gonna put the diode further up into the harness this is where it's more easily accessible. So um, you can see the wires going in. This is all filled with epoxy. I'll, I'll put some videos in there, um, some still pictures that we took. But there's the diode right there on the bottom. You can see a good uh, look at that. So we're gonna go ahead and cut that out and then we'll come back. All right, well, hopefully the light is good enough here. So we need to get in here, snip that end. May not be able to get to this end here. Use a smaller. All right, Let's see if I got that other end there. All right, so there the diode comes out. You can see the leads are still there. And go ahead and push the leads down for now. One's on the positive side, one's on the negative side. This is basically so um, the ECM is protected flyback from power going the wrong way. So it saves the ECM. It would have been nice if they would have put it in the harness, but they didn't. So we're going to go ahead here and put the pump down. We will go ahead and connect positive. And we'll connect negative. Now the pump runs. So what we will do is we will um, take care of the loose ends. We'll fill that with epoxy. And then we'll, we're going to go ahead and put um, a flyback diode in the harness itself, which we are going to make um, available on the shop, uh, in the web shop, for people to buy. Uh, we are going to make it part of the rebuild uh, kit for no extra charge, or you can just buy the harness if you if you happen to have done this work. So it'll come with a male and female connector, and it's just plug and play. So thanks for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye bye.